Hello everyone, welcome to Primetime Recaps. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, it will make us happy and help us keep making videos like this. Today, I'm going to be explaining an action fantasy movie titled, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, released in the year, 2003. The movie starts in 1899, where high-profile crimes occur in different nations in every part of Europe. A terrorist group led by the Phantom breaks into the Bank of England to steal Leonardo da Vinci's blueprints of Venice's foundations, then they kidnapped several German scientists while blowing up a Zeppelin factory, and each is carried out by nationals of other countries, leading Europe to the brink of war. The British Empire sends Sanderson Reed, who arrives in a club in Kenya Colony, hoping to recruit the aged hunter and adventurer, Alan Quartermain, who had retired following the death of his son. He wants him to investigate the situation, he explains how important it is to the British Empire. Nevertheless, Reed gets to understand that Quartermain no longer cares, so he refuses at first, until a group of assassins with machine guns walks in and starts killing the club members. Quartermain is very astonished that the assassins are armed with automatic rifles, he single-handedly defeats the armed men with his excellent marksmanship and boxing skills. He pins one of them on the wall, leaving Chase to finish the last one who shoots the man at a great distance without killing him, but the man decides to commit suicide in order for him not to interrogate him, and afterwards the club explodes due to the bomb planted by the men. Eventually, Quartermain agrees to return to England deciding that a war between the nations of Europe will quickly spread to Africa. Afterwards, Quartermain goes to London and meets the mysterious M, who explains that the Phantom plans to start a world war by bombing a secret meeting of world leaders in Venice. To prevent this, M is forming the greatest generation of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, to combat the threat of the Phantom and ensure world peace by stopping him from destroying Venice. Quartermain speaks to Captain Nemo whom he thought was a pirate, Rodney Skinner who is an invisible man and a thief, had stolen an invisibility formula from its creator, and is now assisting the government in return for an antidote, and then Mrs. Mina Harker, whom M introduces as a well-regarded chemical scientist. The members of the group are astonished to see Captain Nemo's vehicle, because there are no cars in this world. Shortly after, M sends the group to meet up with the mysterious Dorian Gray, whom they hope to convince to be another member of the League, but he declines. As they're conversing with Gray, Quartermain notices that a painting is obviously missing from a wall, he discloses that he met Dorian Gray before, when he attended one of his classes while he was still a very young man. Immediately, the Phantom and his assassins arrive and the whole room bursts in a gunfight, but one member of the gang reveals himself to be a friend of the group. Whilst fighting, Dorian Gray's physical and specific weakness is unveiled and the Phantom escapes. Eventually, the fight ends as Mina is being held against her speech with a knife at her throat, instantly her eyes turn red, and she rips the assassin and feeds from his neck. She then explains about her background, regarding her encounter with Dracula which resulted to the powers. It is shown that the friendly henchman is an American Secret Service agent. Being a little bit impressed, Quartermain agrees that Tom Sawyer joins them in the League, then the former opposing Dorian changes his mind and agrees to join the League. The gentleman then took Nemo's submarine as the last recruit to round up the League. While in Paris, Quartermain and Sawyer is shooting at Mr. Hyde, who is attempting to get away. The monstrous Mr. Hyde falls from the roof, and he is captured by Net. Mr. Hyde then swiftly transforms back to his alter ego, Dr. Henry Jekyll. He is glad to assist when he learns that the Queen will allow his return to London if he concurs to join the League. As the team is now complete, the Nautilus travels to Venice in Nemo's submarine. Whilst the group is taking a break outside, Quartermain observes that Sawyer likes Mina and informs him that he is not her type. Sawyer doesn't want to back down, but Mina snubs him. Shortly after, they soon deduce that there may be a mole on board, when Captain Nemo finds a camera flash powder in the will room of the Nautilus. Dorian tells Mina that the secret of his immortality is in the missing painting on his wall, he then gives her a drink but the glass breaks which leads to her fingers getting cut. As Dr. Jekyll returns back to his room, he discovers that one of his transformations is missing, Dr. Jekyll naturally believes that the invisible Skinner is the thief, but Skinner is nowhere to be found. The Nautilus sails up the narrow canals of Venice, then stops under a bridge where it can no longer move. A series of bombs which has been planted under the city, soon start to detonate and begin toppling buildings in a domino effect, one explosion after another. 
Soonest, the team then decides that the only remedy to end the chains of explosion is by knocking one of the buildings out of the sequence. Nemo as a missile can be fired from the Nautilus at the building, but only if a beacon can be set in place. Since Nemo can track his automobile allowing it to serve as the beacon, the leak piles in with Sawyer at the wheel and go racing along the streets of Venice. Whilst on the way, Gray jumps out separately to fight the group of men, as Mina also flies out to fight the group of henchmen on top of the building. Cordemain also jumps from the vehicle to give chase to the Phantom on foot. They both fight in a graveyard where the Phantom loses his mask, before eluding, the Phantom is unveiled to be the mysterious M. Meanwhile, Sawyer crashes the car into the building while firing a flare, which signals Nemo to launch the missile. As soon as the chain of explosion stops, the building gets destroyed and Venice is saved. Back at the Nautilus, the first mate Ishmael is met by Gray and blames Skinner for their misfortune, but Gray shoots him and he is proven wrong. Just as the League regroups at the Nautilus, Cornemain then informs them that M is behind everything, Ishmael then reveals to them that Gray is the traitor. Immediately, a small submersible vessel breaks from the Nautilus, it is Gray smiling and waving to the team, as he is making his escape. Nemo sets the Nautilus in pursuit, but along the way, he leaves a phonograph recording for the League, which is played on a gramophone. M reveals the scope of his plans, which all shows that everything happening was a trick, so that he could steal physical elements from each of the League members, in order to construct an army of super-powered soldiers, Captain Nemo's science, Jekyll's formula, Mina's blood and a sample of Skinner's invisible skin. He also explains that he needed Quartermain only to get Mr. Hyde, M seeks to profit by igniting a world war in selling armaments and weapons based on the powers of the League to the fighter and countries. He stole Gray's enchanted portrait, missing in his home and blackmailed him into assisting him in stealing. At the same time, his played its second unheard signal sets off three bombs in the ship, but Mr. Hyde is able to stop the ship from sinking by draining the flooded engine rooms, getting the appreciation of Dr. Jekyll. Following a signal from Skinner, he secretly messages the League telling them that he has sneaked aboard the exploration pod and adds that they should follow his heading. Going with the signal from Skinner, the Nautilus follows to the Asiatic Arctic in the lead travel across the frozen wastes to a cave overseeing an industrial fortress. They reunite with Skinner, and he informs them that M has a number of scientists, and their families held as hostages and slaves in his munitions factory. He adds that the workers are constructing copies of the Nautilus, while the scientists are working on an army of Hyde-like brutes, vampire assassins, and invisible spies. As the League splits up and gets access to the factory, Nemo and Hyde rescue the scientists and their families, while Quartermain and Sawyer go after him. Mina moves in search of Gray, while Skinner sets the explosives. Nemo and Hyde run into M's assistant, Dante drinks an overdose of the Hyde formula and transforms into a huge hulking monster to combat Hyde. Mina continues battling Dorian, but they're both immortal, until she eventually kills him by exposing him to his enchanted portrait, causing him to decay within seconds. Quartermain challenges M in his lair and identify M as the allegedly dead Professor James Moriarty, a longtime archenemy of genius detective, Sherlock Holmes, who had changed identities, following his supposed death at the Reichenbach Falls. Meanwhile, as Hydes is battling Dante, the explosives go off and he is crushed to death by falling debris. Whilst pointing a gun at Moriarty, Quartermain sees a reflection that an invisible man is holding Sawyer at knife point behind him, he turns and shoots the invisible man only to end up getting fatally stabbed in the back by Moriarty, who makes another escape by fleeing across the ice. Quartermain is seriously wounded, so Sawyer is moved to using the marksmanship skills that Quartermain had taught him. He shoots Moriarty before he can leave in his stolen submersible vessel, the case containing the secrets that Gray has stolen from the League, falls into the icy water and Moriarty dies on the spot. Soonest, Quartermain also dies. In the end, the group begot hers in Kenya, Africa, to bury Quartermain right besides his son. Whilst they unhappily leave, a tribal witch doctor takes a handful of dirt from Quartermain grave and starts a ritual chant. We are reminded of a witch doctor who declared at the beginning of the movie that Africa would not let Quartermain die. The earth shakes forcefully, as the witch doctor summons an unnatural storm, with a bolt of lightning striking the rifle that Sawyer had kept on Quartermain Grave. I hope you liked the movie, please turn on the bell icon to be the first to watch our videos when we post contents like this.
You can also suggest a movie you would love us to explain in the comments section. Thanks for watching.